Today we're going to demonstrate our technique um, for elbow arthroscopy, removal of OCD of the capitellum and microfracture of the base. See here we're in the anterior compartment. This patient had, had a previous fall, radial head damage. In addition you can see the olecranon on here. Here's the OCD with the loose fragment. We use a coker to grab it out the back. Again this is a posterior lateral portal. You can see here we're using a smaller shaver than we usually do with the 3.5. And we're viewing laterally and we have a direct portal to do this removal we're using a very small curette here to remove the OCD itself from the capitellum of the elbow again this is slightly tedious but an important aspect to remove this entire base and all of the loose cartilage to avoid any further loose bodies or other issues we have a synchronization of shaver followed by the curette for removal of this area. Again you can see here the shaver is always being placed towards the midline away from the radial nerve. Again use the curette again to remove this area and develop this defect which is present. Our goal is we'll be microfracturing so we want to get down to subchondral bone to allow us to stimulate fibrocartilage to fill this defect. In some cases we have to use straight snap to remove any loose pieces so they not turn into larger loose bodies. Once it's fully debrided, you can see here we've made a nice base. We're just finishing off the peripheral edges with the curette and following then we'll do a shaver one more time. As you can see we now we have a good subchondral bone identified. We use a small K wire to perforate the subchondral bone and stimulate the marrow elements also known as microfracture of the base. This will stimulate fibrocartilage and again in most cases for these OCDs this is sufficient to take care of their pain and other further issues. If anything further is needed, we would consider it cartilage transplantation, but for now this should be adequate, and in most cases it is. It is. We use this soft tissue protector, one, to prevent soft tissues from tethering, and two, it allows us to have better angle to place these K-wires and for the microfracture of the base. Not shown here, the tourniquet was released and demonstrated good marrow extravasation which will eventually turn into this fiber cartilage which we've discussed.